Okay, Bentley. Murray and I are moving into position. You still think you can demolish something that large? It doesn't take an engineer to figure out how to blow up a bridge. I'll start by placing charges on all of the lower cleats. Once the structure destabilizes, those retainer rings on the upper cleats should pop right off. That should enable me to bomb all of the upper cleats, which will bring it all crashing down. Just watch your head when that thing gets unstable. We need that brain of yours in one piece. Last one. Wow, the bridge is starting to crumble. Better watch out for falling stones. Just two more cleats down here. There's only one cleat left. That's it for the lower section. Now for the main support beams. Take all the manpower you need and look into it. Murray, you in position? Check! It looks like Bentley's little distraction did the trick. Initiate phase two. I'll take care of Carmelita and the crowd. You handle the heavy lifting. Miss Fox, I believe you owe me a dance. About time. I thought you had left. Just waiting for the perfect moment. Enforcement. I often deal with police while on the job. Ah. Yes. stranger what's your name why ruin the moment huh, I I don't understand 
The wings! What happened to the clockwork wings? What? How? Who could have... What? Cooper! Murray, I'll cover your escape with the RC chopper. Let me worry about the guards. You just keep moving! After the gang and I got away with the clockwork wings, Carmelita blew her cover and started making arrests left and right. With his reputation in shambles, Rajan was forced to flee from his own party. He's now in hiding, somewhere deep in the jungle. The gang and I took a break and headed for Bollywood. It took some doing, but we eventually snuck Murray onto the set of a full-blown Indian musical. I was happy the guys got to unwind, but Rajan was still out there. And somehow, I knew things were about to get tough. <laughs> <laughs> 